Hey y'all, welcome back. Welcome for the first time. Welcome, welcome. Um, this ought to be cool. I think I'm past that 15 minute limit on YouTube. Figured out a couple things and uh, took the time to look around. I think I got it fixed, we'll find out. Anyway, uh, gonna show you this one. This is the last one we did. And she is drying beautifully. I mean, seriously, that is just gorge. And as you know, if you watched the last video, I was so excited how uh, these colors work together. I'm going to do it again, and by golly, we're just going to lose our minds today. Go big or go home. This is a 16 by 20. This is a 22 by 28. Ha 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 ha. Amazing. Sorry, I had to put that back on the drying rack before I screw it up, stick my thumb in it or something. Um, but as I explained in one of my early vi videos about beginners, to figure out how many ounces of paint you need for a canza canvas, you take the width times the height and divide it by 28 because there's 28 grams and an ounce, I guess. And so... That comes up with your how many ounces of paint you need to cover the canvas. Well, this one's easy to figure out because it's 22 by 28. So, 28! Probably need 22 ounces. Now, the problem is, what I did yesterday was a funnel pour. This funnel, that's from leftover from the pour yesterday. It's all dry. It's good. Um... This only holds eight ounces. I checked it. I keep a bottle of water that's got increments on it. I do test that way, see how many ounces something holds if it's not marked. So to get 22, we're going to have to have, what do you think, about two and a half of these. Yep. That would be 20 ounces. So, I'm going to have to fill this twice. And I'm not going to travel around like I did on that one. I'm going to just leave it in the middle and just kind of do this, I think. We'll see what happens. But anyway, I have to fill this thing twice and a half and do that. So, that's going to be interesting. I will be taking the lids off of my paints so I can just pour them directly and not have to take the time of squeezing them out of the bottles because I do this two and a half times as long as that's going to take. It's going to be a while. Okay, colors again are, this is actually, I looked, it's, uh, I had to mix up some more and it's Grumbacher Academy Prussian Blue. It is Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple. And I traded out the Deco Art Turquoise that I used yesterday. I just got this and I forgot about it. This is Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt. So we're going to use that instead of turquoise. I've got Deep Violet Liquitex Basics. I've got Deco Art Antique Copper. I have got Deco Art Fire Opal. And I have got, of course, last but never, never, never least, Deco Art 24 karat gold. And we're going to layer that with white in our funnel two and a half times. <laughs> Wee! I had a devil of a time getting that camera set up. I got you stretched about to the ceiling. It's a little bit crooked, and I don't want to knock it clear off the table. It's just there. I'm all the way over to the edge over here, so I don't know if I can jack you up a little further. Yeah, I can do that when I start stretching. Anyway, okay, I'm going to cover this, and then we're going to come back and do the pour. 
Oh, I'll show you right quick. Snazzy. It's got an extra bar in the back. But I have uh, taped off my back and sprayed it down with water. Take a, you got the stir sticks tongue depressor. If you got one with a brace in the middle like this or even to get into the corners of your canvas, push the water in. You can just use one of those uh, sticks and mush it around. Check my corners, check for level. We sound like a drum. We're good to go. So we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, we're covered in white. I did the drop thing on the canvas where I covered it in white. And then I just picked it up a couple of inches and let it drop down to the surface a couple of times. That brings up a ton of air bubbles. So they're gone. Uh, I torched. <laughs> I'm nervous. This is going to be difficult. If we make it so. It's supposed to be fun. So I don't think I want to move it around too much. Because I kind of muddied up the works in that one yesterday. So we're just going to plop right here in the middle. It's basically an open cup pour. But it's in a funnel. Right around the bottom. Pushing blue. Metallic cobalt. White. Zine purple. Deep violet. White. Some copper. Antique copper. Fire opal, twenty four karat gold, some more white. Blue. Just trying to peek and see if I've got any leaking out. Trying to hold it steady, but yeah, there's not much coming out. Metallic cobalt. Ooh, that's pretty. That's a gorgeous color. Whoa. Um, a little gold. White. Oxyzine purple. That's a little thick. Deep violet. Copper. This is a funnel pour. Those are going to come out last, but be in the middle. So this is going to be different. Okay. Now we're ready to let this one loose. I'm going back and forth a little bit. There. 
Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Okay, let's do our second one. It's okay that those colors are still in there. see cells popping up. This dioxazine purple needs water really bad. See violet. Make it appear in gold. <coughs> Straight to the copper. Whoa. Higher opal. Straight and white. Christian blue. Ooh, both my blues are kind of thick. Not my dark colors. Cobalt. Oh, that's so pretty. Oxazine purple. Violet. White. Antique copper, fire opal, love this color, a little bloop of gold. Okay, funnel number two. This will be 16 ounces once we get it emptied out. <laughs> okay. I wonder if that's going to be enough paint, actually. Oops. Oh, dripping on the floor. Not good. Yeah, we need another half, so we're going to do another half. Let's do one of our warm colors. White, 24 karat gold, higher opal, copper, let's go backwards, white, Blue, cobalt, and we only needed a half of one, so we're going to put a little dot of gold there, so we know where the end is, and we're going to do this again. We just let that one run out. Oh, that's different. I want my glove stuck. Okay. 
he's still coming out. Okay. Yay, we didn't screw it up. Oh, cool. Most, most, most cool. Where are my tweezers go? I see a dozer hair. It's not an authentic piece if you don't get at least one dozer hair. Paint. Throw a little booger. Ooh. Just bringing it to the middle a little bit because we're going to let it set and think about it. Totally cool. Well, funky funnel number one. I'll bring you in for a close up. This is going to be trippy. Giant stone rose in the middle of it. Check these out. Of course, they're going to get stretched and discombobulated. Way cool. Ah. Crazy. Da, da, da. <laughs> All right, we'll be back to stretch it out. I don't want to reach across the table to turn the camera on. I don't have a clicky thing, so <laughs> I had a devil of a time getting a camera angle. I've got you way jacked up. If I hit the leg of that tripod, it's going to be all over. And I'm going to try not to pour it off the table and onto my feet. 22 by 28. Uh, she just been sitting here. I haven't done anything to it except torch it. Sea uh, white around the edges. But I like to be safe, so let's just put a fluffy little blob around so it has something to slide on. Oh boy, it's a big one. Ah. Just watch your paint movement. This way. Go back to the middle. In this direction. Not ready to go off the edges yet. To the middle. This way. Watch where the weight of your paint is. Make sure you got a wave of white out in front of it. I am gonna have paint clear up to my armpits. Guaranteed. Back to the middle. I got plenty of paint on here. Come down to this corner. Hope you can see that. I caught that. Let's go ahead and catch that one. Back to the middle. Catch that one. Get back to the middle. This 
hammer. If you can see that, I can't look up. Let's catch that, bring it back. We've also got sunlight pouring in the window over here. Playing with the middle there a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna set it down because my arms are tired. Woo wee! Biggin! Goodness gracious. Okay. Get enough paint off my fingers to. Turn the camera off. We're going to stop. Oh my God, I just threw a blob of paint off my arm. Bloop. Thank God it landed there, not in the middle of the painting. Yeah, I've got to clean up a little bit. Clean up the edges, and then we'll come back and get a close-up. Okay. I'm standing with this thing practically up by my forehead to get the whole thing in the shot. But there's a 22 by 28. Funky funnel pour, multi funnel pour. I love it. Layer of my overhead light. I do have sun coming in the window too. Check out those stripes. That blue is not near as neon as it's looking on the camera screen. That's crazy. Crazy cool. <laughs> I love it, love it, love it. The fire over and the gold. I could maybe use some more blue in there, but you know what? I think it's pretty. It's different colors. It's not just a big gold chrysanthemum there in the middle. It's a fire opal mum. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll let you know what it looks like when it's dried. It's going to be gorgeous when it's varnished. And thank God my uh, drying rack got cleaned off. <laughs> and I did check before I started to make sure I had room for a 28 inch. And I do. So there's that. Anyway, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. I appreciate you coming by. Hope you had a good time. I did. Uh, check the about page for the uh, Instagram link and the PayPal me link if you want to toss a couple of bucks in the tip jar. That'd be awesome. If not, don't worry about it. Um, yeah, so here we are. Happy days, everybody. Stay well. Come see me again. Thanks.